If the risk management framework were a video game, this would be the boss fight. Welcome to RMF Step 6, Authorize. At this point, you've implemented, assessed, and written more documentation than your last college group project. But nothing can officially operate until your authorizing official or AO determines if your system can even exist in the environment. The AO is then going to take everything, the risks, the controls, the outstanding poems, and ultimately decide. Do the benefits of operating this system outweigh the risks? And there are generally three options that they can choose from. They can choose to grant you an authorization to operate, or an ATO. And if you get this, congratulations, because it means that you are good to go. They can also issue a conditional ATO, which is basically saying that you are good to go for now, but you're a little sus. This will typically include a list of things that you need to take care of within six months to a year before you can get a full ATO. Or they can choose to straight up deny the system's authorization altogether, which means it's back to the drawing board for you. As an ISO or GRC analyst, you play a really big part in this moment. Ultimately, it's your job to help the AO understand the type of system that they are authorizing and what types of risks they're actually accepting by allowing that authorization. And if all goes well and your poems don't look like a doomsday checklist, you'll be granted an ATO. But don't get too comfortable because the risk management framework doesn't end there. You still got step seven, where you'll find out if those controls you implemented actually stand up over time. And of course, we'll talk more about that in the next episode. Until then, let me know if you have any questions and follow for more.